Ronaldo eclipses $1 billion as a footballer. MLS rumors that Kevin Durant buys ownership and stake in a soccer team. Soccer superstar stuns China with calling out their communist party. How dare you? And this Sunday, I'm adding a new segment to my podcast every Sunday. It's called Overcoming Your Mind. And we'll be talking about all this on episode 520. First up, we have Ronaldo eclipsing $1 billion. Don't worry, Messi will be there next year. The 35-year-old Juventus star has become the third sports star to reach the milestone, joining Tiger Woods and Floyd Mayweather Jr., according to Forbes. Ronaldo raked in $85 million this last year from his wages and endorsement deals pushing into the billions for er- career earnings. Wait till you hear his Instagram post. Every time he posts and how much he makes. It's crazy. But it wasn't... Um, or Messi uh, is just behind him, and he'll join uh, Ronaldo's uh, levels by next year. Yay! Unless the coronavirus comes back and kills us all, and then then Ronaldo wins. That's kind of how it's going to go down. Um, the former Manchester United Real Madrid star Ronaldo has pocketed over five hundred million dollars during his career, and just wages alone, that figure is set to exceed six hundred million dollars after his contract's up with Juventus, which is uh, ends at 2021-22 season. Ronaldo has also raked in $36 million a year in endorsements during his career, including partnerships with Nike, which is a lifetime contract. I wonder what that is. Uh, the Ford also has his own company called CR7, as well as being the most followed su- uh, sports star in the world of Facebook and Instagram. Shocker. Uh, all he's to do is take his shirt off. Ronaldo's, Ronaldo rakes in roughly $1 million per post on in Instagram. So he takes a cut from Juventus. He should have took a bigger cut. Should have took a cut for the entire team and just posted on Instagram whatever that was. So he took a cut. Here, let's get the... Um, let's get up um, the, the stats. So Christian Ronaldo... Uh, Instagram earnings forty one point seven million. He makes nine hundred seventy one thousand per post. Who knows what his girlfriend makes per post? I, and now I understand why so many people are posting what they post. It totally makes sense to me. So um, the Ford makes fourteen million more per year from social media than he does with Juventus contract. What? The Barcelona star, let's get on to Messi. The Barcelona star uh, pocketed $84 million in the past year from his own wages and endorsement deals, which includes Pepsi and Adidas. But neither Messi nor Ronaldo were Forbes' top earners sports star this year, with the honor going to tennis ace Roger Federer. The Swiss legend, 38, banked $86 million to edge out the footballer duo. You know why? You want to know why? He uh, pulled this off because he gets paid based on performance. If you get paid by performance, you have the chance to make a lot of money or you have a chance of making not much money at all. He's winning. He's not going to make that forever. Not like uh, Ronaldo and Messi, which are like Jordan-esque names. That it, Their value of their names will last forever. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so that that's, uh, that's definitely uh, the news for today on uh, those two, which they're on the news every day. But let's talk about Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is checking into the beautiful game. The NBA superstar has brought a small ownership stake in the Philadelphia Union. The sports business journal Mark J. Burns reported Thursday, citing a source, Durant will own between 1% and 5% of the Major League Soccer Club. Although it's unclear whether the minority stake in the union was acquired via his personal funds or through those of 35 Ventures, which is a a business founded uh, with his partner, Rich Kleiman. The four-year, the four-year, $164 million contract Durant signed with the Brooklyn Nets last summer is amongst the richest in NBA history. He previously earned around $190 million in NBA salaries between 2007 and 2019, according to thebasketballreference.com. He had twice tried to buy stakes in his hometown, D.C. United, but was unable to do so. Durant, the latest superstar athlete to buy uh, buy stakes MLS teams. He joins Houston Rockets' James Harden, who owns 
um, part of Houston Dynamo and uh, and related clubs and the Seattle uh, Seahawks, Russell Wilson, the quarterback, who owns shares in the Seattle Sounders among MLS owners, athletes. James Harden, by the way, uh, James Harden, he doesn't look, he is one of the most fascinating people as an athlete, just his body type. And he doesn't look like someone that can last. He, he's just so long and uh, he's so big and it just, it doesn't seem like he can handle the NBA game and he can't, I, I can't believe the way he can move with that body. It just, it blows me away. He's, you know, it's crazy how talented that man is. Anyways, moving on. Um, this, okay, so before I get into this, this is long. Um, so this soccer st- superstar to my, to my my right, your left, um, he is causing problems with the, the Communist Party of China. And it's, I'm going to butcher these names because a lot of them are Chinese names. I apologize in advance, but... It's it's crazy interesting. So uh, listen to this. So Chinese sports stars usually express thanks and offer platitudes about their government if they address politics at all. So this is very strange, uh, but not Hao Hengdong, the retired soccer forward, which is uh, left on the screen. The Chinese national team, all team, uh, all-time top goal scorer and an idol in the 90s and the early 2000s stunned his country this week after he called for the downfall of the ruling Communist Party and the formation of a new government in a highly unusual YouTube appearance as part of the apparent pub- publicity campaign by the fugitive billionaire Guo Wangu. So, um, oh shoot, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get him in in here. I don't even know what I did with his image. So the uh, Guo Wenggu, or I don't even know if, if that's how you even um, say his name, but um, there he is. So this guy, he lives in New York, big time activist against the Communist Party. Communist Party want him. Well, let's just read about it. Um, the uh, one of the Chinese government's most reviled opponents. How read on the. Uh, on the Chinese government's um, or pointed out this eight point manifesto for a vision of a new federal state of China sitting for an accompanying hour long interview alongside his wife, the badminton champion, Yi uh, Zhaoying Hao launched into a lengthy criticism, criticism of his government handling of the most ever, uh, almost every domestically sensitive subject, Hong Kong, Tibet, the COVID-19 pandemic, the Communist Party, he says, the Communist Party should be kicked out of humanity. How declares the videos released Thursday on the political, politically sensitive anniversary of Tiananmen Square Massacre 1989. That's today, the anniversary. Coming from the international athlete, Howe's comments would be fiercely criticized by the Chinese government. Coming from the Chinese soccer legend, they were unthinkable, almost disorienting. By Thursday afternoon, Howe's video has caused a sensa- sensation in China, even though they appeared on YouTube and blocked the platform. They seemed to be or seemed to confound internet users and authorities alike. Was the entire episode fake? Should it be condemned or ignored? Titan, a leading state run sports website, quickly issued a statement that said How Heng Dong has, has made speech that subserves um, subverts the government and harms national sovereignty and uses coronavirus epidemic to smear the Chinese government and spread falsehoods about Hong Kong. We strongly condemn this behavior. Shortly after the statement was edited to replace Hao's name, which had become sensitive with the Roman letter H, ours, after that, the statement was removed outright as the government opted to erase all mentions of the incident on the domestic internet and and if it never happened. How Weibo social media account, which had close to 8 million followers, vanished. Hupu, a leading online hangout the, uh, the Chinese, uh, for Chinese sports fans, warned using against all discussion of how was harmful remarks. The warning, too, disappeared. Within 24 hours, according to the internet monitor freeweibo.com, Hao's name and uh, name 
had become the most heavily censored term on Weibo, topping even uh, six uh, six four, the which is you know the date for the Tiananmen um, massacre back in eighty nine. On Friday, the government addressed the video for the first time, dismissing Howe's video as a farce. I don't have an interest commenting, said Foreign Ministry spokesman Gang Shuang Hao, who is believed to live in Spain after retiring as Chinese greatest striker, has been known for sharply criticizing the Chinese soccer authorities, but the ruling party itself. At one point in the video, he says his delusionment with the corrupt sports system morphed into a deeper discontent. We also lambast the prevalence of the fraud and lack of social welfare. How is probably the highest profile Chinese national to speak out so forcibly uh, against his country political leaders under the rule of President uh, Xi Jinping. How's video amounted into minor publicity uh, publicly uh, coup for uh, Guao, the New York based businessman who has been sought by Chinese authority on a litany of charges, including fraud, blackmail, and bribery. So, all right. Does this all sound a little bit familiar? And forgive me, this, this is long. I'm tired. I haven't slept much. It's my kid's birthday. i got to get this out on one take. But this sounds very familiar about what's going on. We have a lot of censorship happening in the United States. You can't post certain things on Facebook. and you They'll remove them if they don't go with the government mandates and stuff. And that's scary. Whether they're wrong or, you know, conflated to be something that's not true or whatever, it's still scary that we're being policed that way. And the question is, I mean, they're kind of like, Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, they're, they're just kind of messing with it. They're, you know, they're testing the waters of what they can do well why would anyone support that freedom of speech needs to be protected whether it's wrong right or indifferent i mean we we have yeah the people need to be able to decipher through the uh, the information we cannot be forced to be able or to read only what they want us to read then we're becoming like the chinese which is crazy so very few people have the guts to go against uh china uh, very few. You don't hear about this much, and that's why I think it's a hot topic right now. The former, uh, so the former real estate developer hired Stephen K. Bannon. Now, Stephen K. Bannon, that guy is brilliant. He's crazy smart. He's, uh, I, I really like him. But in 2018, a multi-million dollar deal um, was given to him uh, to promote him in the United States. This is rumors, according to uh, um, Axios, as Gu, uh, Guo's, or as Guo's YouTube channel aired Howe's video this week, it also showed Guo and Bannon in a boat in New York Bay floating in front of the Statue of Liberty from where Bannon reads an English version of the manifesto calling the creation of the new China. Um so, I don't know. Money corrupts all. So, I, I don't know what to believe on this, but censorship is bad. It's bad. And there's a lot of, a lot of confusion and scary. So, I don't know. I don't even know if that report even made sense to you. So, uh, uh, last night I posted on Facebook. A lot of people know about my... Um, my depression and my suicidal tendencies and all that stuff. And I've been... I did not want to talk about it at all. I mean, I just told my family in December, this past December, was it this past December? I can't get my day straight. Um, I can't remember. So lost. On day. It, 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 no, it was a year and a half ago. Sorry, a year and a half ago. Um, so not this past December, December of 2018, yeah, uh, I told my family what's going on and, you know, pay attention to me. Here's the signs and kind of educated because uh, people that deal with mental illness and stuff, you you would, you know, have suicidal tendency and depression. So if you would not know, you don't know. No one knew about me. I was just fighting it. And it, it got to the point of stupid. And I actually talked about this in church 
and it and it had a major impact um on a lot of people in my in my my church and it it was just it was a good thing and a lot of people came to talk to me they have similar problems and stuff and so the 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 amount of people that are suffering depression is ridiculous it's the numbers are through the roof and I've been scared about talking about it because I'm scared about, can I get another job or, you know, what uh, you know, you're nervous about it because if you sh- show that kind of tendency, you feel like you're weak and you're not, you're not able to work. And who, you know, people probably don't want to be around someone that is mentally unstable and all that stuff. And, and I, I didn't want to talk about it for the longest time, but I, I told my, I remember telling my Phoenix college men's soccer team, I, I told them, I told uh, my church members and uh, told the, the Millennium Girls soccer team, and that's kind of kind of about it. And I didn't want to be vocal on my podcast. I was trying to figure out how do I come out with this. And then because of all the craziness of what's going on, um, we, it feels like the world's come to an end. So I, I post on Facebook, and immediately, you know, it's like 200 plus likes, 20 30 comments and still still going people are just they're touched by that I actually came out and talked about it and it is scary to talk about and so I decided every Sunday I'm going to talk about it and I want to talk about what I went through and why do Wim Hof why I run and tell the tell the stories every Sunday it'll still be on this podcast still on my, my YouTube channel um and it'll have its own playlist, but um, yeah, I, I'm gonna start talking about it, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it helps. Um, so that's on Sunday; it'll air uh, probably in the evening. But I appreciate you guys joining me today, and hopefully, on this one take podcast. And I, I and I know I can get better. I probably could read better. I probably could make this a better podcast if I actually did more than one take. And I did actually do a couple of takes. I'm, I just got to whip it out. But uh, go to CoachCameron.com. Go to, you can support this podcast by buying. This is just some of the stuff you can buy uh, from a podcast. And yeah, it's expensive. The most expensive, you know, cup. Most expensive socks you could buy. I don't know. You can support this podcast by doing that. Also, you can email me at coachcameronpodcast at gmail.com if you want to be on my podcast. Um, let me know or send in a question you'd like me to answer, whether it's about soccer or my new podcast that's coming on Sundays about overcoming your mind. And uh, yeah. So anyways, have a great day. Love you all. And uh, see you guys Sunday, I guess. I'm taking tomorrow off. And it's my birthday tomorrow. Maybe I'll come back on anyways. Anyways, peace.